what's up guys so with the last god of war video you guys really hit that like button i really do appreciate it and that's pretty much you guys telling me to do more god of war videos so once again i do appreciate every person who watched that video and gave it a thumbs up so let's talk about the world of god of war With the death of each god in God of War 3, the world became more affected. With all of the gods dead by the hand of Kratos, the world was spun into chaos. Plague, floods, storms, and much more turned it into a disaster. However, in God of War PS4, there is no sign of a disaster or catastrophe. Let's discuss why it seems so calm in the world of God of War PS4 compared to God of War 3's ending. Many fans were wondering this same thing. If the world was destroyed or sent into oblivion by the death of the Greek gods, why is it in God of War PS4 there seems to be no damage? Well, according to the interview, the director of God of War PS4, he says the world is actually shared by multiple mythologies. Kratos traveled north from Greece to Norway, so it seems this world is actually shared by multiple gods at the same point in time. During the interview, he said that if Kratos had traveled in, in a different direction, he may have ended up in Egyptian mythology, which the team was actually thinking about putting Kratos in. So I think each group of gods that make up a mythology are the same gods that affect their own domain. They have their own rulers, their own followers, and their own land. I think it's better to not think of them as mythologies, but their own kingdoms. Each kingdom has its lore. Kings and queens with power that affect not the world, but the section that they rule over. So at the end of God of War 3, that destruction we are witnessing, it isn't the world that we are seeing in this horrible state, but how far the Greek gods control. The mortals um, in Greece are probably rebuilding now that hope was restored to the land by the selfless act of Kratos at the end of the game, but most likely it's still in shambles. So basically what I am trying to say is that the destruction we saw at the end of God of War 3 did happen and it's probably still happening. However, it's only the section in which the Greek gods rule, so all of Greece is probably destroyed. Now that Kratos had traveled north, he eventually escaped all that chaos and went into a realm of Norse mythology with its own creatures, its own uh, challenges. Um, there are so many things that can happen in Norse mythology that didn't happen in, in uh, Greek mythology. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty cool that all gods exist in this one earth. I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to hit that like button if you want me to do more God of War videos, go more in depth into the series. Later guys.